Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to the Lamb. All glory and praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. May His only name be praised forevermore. Hallelujah, amen. You are all welcome to my channel this wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. You are all welcome. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that even as I've come to my channel, that the Lord shall continue to bless you and increase you and empower you and strengthen you with His word and with His spirit in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly subscribe to this channel, click the red button, and also give this video a like and also share to many other persons in your contacts. God bless you as you do so in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that we shall continually have victory, victory, and triumph in Christ Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Good to see you around. God bless you in the name of of Jesus Christ. Amen. Today I'm going to be talking on a topic I called the pattern Sodom. The pattern Sodom. Well, we all know, we all have read, most of us have read what is in the book, what is in the, in the book of Genesis chapter 19, especially that it concerns Sodom and Gomorrah, how those cities were overthrown by the Lord, how they were destroyed and consumed because they involved themselves in abominable hearts. They involved themselves in things that is, is an inordinate affection how a man and a man are sleeping together and a woman and woman are lost after themselves you know the lord found it as an abomination it is abominable you know art that is against nature and as a result it was destroyed it was overthrown now we can see that these things are already also manifesting in our words we have a lot of abominations abominations in the nations that are coming up coming up coming up you know gay rights gay weddings you know lesbianism you know all these things is not something god delight in it is not something god delight in the bible says because of these things the wrath of god falls upon the children of disobedience it is not something god delight in these things actually usually bring about destruction upon the face of the hurt and the enemy the devil has so much has so much deceived men so much that it thought that it is something that is that is that is that is normal but it is not normal this is something that brings destruction upon the face of the upon up, 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 up on people that involve themselves in so what am i saying the top of the message i'm preaching this morning says the pattern sodom the pattern sodom the pattern sodom Hallelujah. So what is Sodom? Who is Sodom? Where is Sodom? <laughs> Hallelujah. Let us go to the book of uh, Genesis chapter 19. Like I said again, I said, who is Sodom? What is Sodom? Where is Sodom? And what is happening in Sodom? What is presently happening in Sodom? Abominations are happening in Sodom. Things that are unnatural things that are that are supposed to be unseen it is exactly what is happening in sodom and right now sodom has its, its headquarters in many countries many countries all over the world a lot of people are practicing sodomic activities which is not supposed to be hallelujah these things eventually we bring destruction upon the face of the world why the lord will protect his own people and deliver them others will be what will be subjected to destruction just like the cities of sodom and gomorrah were subjected to destruction let us look at the book of genesis chapter 19. genesis chapter 19 verse 1 I'm going to be reading a whole lot of it till down to 30. So if you have your Bible with me, just come up, just bring your Bible up, bring your Bible up and let us check the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 19, verse 1 to 30. And it says, Now the two angels came to Sodom in the evening, and Lot was sitting in the gate of Sodom. When Lot saw them, he rose to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground. And he said, Hear now, my Lord's Please turn in to your servant's house and spend the night and wash your feet. Then you may rise early and go on your way. And they said, No, but we'll spend the night in the open square. Now, Lot recognized that these are not just ordinary men, but are angels. And so he invited them to come and spend 
spend the night in his house in his home rather than to be in the market square there are times we meet with angels on the way we don't even know they are angels we thought they are humans there are times we meet angels in the market square in the malls in the in, on the road walls on the sidewalks but we thought they are just normal humans but they are angels sent by god for an assignment this is exactly what happened and lot was able to detect and to note that these people are not just ordinary humans but they are what they are messengers of christ please stay along with me on this message I am and I trust you, you are going to be really blessed. God bless in the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 2 And he said, Yeah, now my lords, please turn into your servant's house and spend the night and wash your feet, that you may rise early and go on your way. And they said, No, but we will spend the night in the open square. But he, he, stitched, he insisted strongly, so they turned it unto him and entered his house. Then he made them a feast and baked on living bread, and they ate. Now, before they lay down, the men of the city, the men of Sodom, both old and young, all the people from every quarter surrounded the house. Now listen, look, look at what happened. The Bible says in verse 3 that he, he insisted strongly that they follow him home. And as a result, they went with him. And when they get home, he made a feast for them. He made a feast for them. What feast did he make? He baked an unleavened bread and they ate. So angels can eat bread. Angels can eat bread, they can eat fish, like you know, like what, what happened just here now. They make a bread, a living bread, you know, maybe they took some drinks also, it is fine. So, when you meet with an angel, you will not even know that it's an angel because it would appear to you as an angel, you appear to you like a man. And so, they ate and they were okay, they were fine. Hallelujah. Verse 4 Now, before they lay down, the men of the city, the men of Sodom, both old and young, all the people from every quarter surrounded the house. They surrounded the house. Why would they surround the house? Why would they surround the house? Because of the abominable acts that they are perpetrating. Hallelujah. Let's continue. Verse 5. And they called to Lot and said to him, Where are the men who came to you tonight? Bring them out to us that we may know them carnally. Can you imagine that? That we may know them carnally. You want to sleep with strangers. You want to have sex with strangers. You want to have abominable acts with strangers. This is this is this is this this is dangerous. It's it's, it's it's uncalled for. People you don't even know, and they're not even a man to woman, but men to men. That is that is that is you know that the the, the, the level of ab that abomination got to that level that they started having kind of knowledge of strangers, of strangers. So this this same thing is going is going on now. By the time it's been it's been accepted, it will get to this point that people will start having kind of knowledge of of of, of some sense, you know, without their consent. This is where it's going to get to. This is where it's going to get to. That's one of the reasons why God has to send destruction upon that upon that land. So Lot went out to them through the doorway, shut the door behind him, and said, Please, my brethren, do not do so wickedly. It's such a wicked act. You can see, it is such a wicked act. See now, I have two daughters who have not known a man. Please let me bring them out to you, and you may do to them as a witch. Only do nothing to this man, since this is the reason they have come under the shadow of my roof. And they said, Stand back. Then they said, This one came in to stay here, and he keeps acting as a judge. Now we will deal worse with you than with them. So they pressed out against the man, Lot. They pressed out against the man, Lot, and came near to break down the door. They tried to break down his door. They tried to invade his house so they can have access to the persons that, to the, to, to the persons that is, that, that, that is about, that, that, you know, that is, you know, that is in his house. So the angels, they don't even know that they are angels. They don't even know they are angels. But look at what happened, verse 10. But the men reached out their hands and pulled Lot into the house with them and shut the door. He shut the door. They shut the door. And they struck the men who were at the doorway of the house with blindness, both small and great, so that they became weary trying to find the door. They became weary trying to find the door. They couldn't find the door again because the angels, the angels, the angels of God blindfolded them from seeing the doorway. And they couldn't, they couldn't break in. <laughs> then the man said to Lot, Have you anyone else here, son in law, your sons, your daughters, and whomever you are from the city? Take them out of this place. Take them out of this place, for we will destroy this place because the outcry against them has grown great before the face of the Lord, and the Lord has sent us to destroy it. 
Lord has sent us to the church. So the angels were telling Lord said, look, the outcry of this city has gone great into the ears of the Lord. And the Lord has sent us to destroy because they have been doing this wicked acts, not once, not twice, not thrice. Going to people's house and bringing out young men, bringing out strangers to have kind of knowledge with them, to rip, to, 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 to do a lot of, a lot of abominable acts to them. And those people cry out to God. And the Lord had their cries and descended upon that land with, 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 with fire and brimstone. For we destroy this place because the outcry against them has grown great because before the face of the Lord. And the Lord has sent us to destroy it. So Lot went, verse 14, so Lot went out and spoke to his sons in law who had married his daughters and said, Get up, get out of this place, for the Lord will destroy the city. But to his sons in law, he seemed to be joking. So which means, which means Lot does not have just two daughters. Maybe possibly he has five daughters, but three has gone to their husband's house. Why the remaining two are still with him? Or maybe he has sons and you know he has some other sons somewhere, but they were there, they were they have mingled themselves with the men of the city. They have mingled themselves with the men of the city. So it is only the remaining two daughters of Lot that were with him. So this one. Listen, okay now, let's continue, please, because I don't want to be fast in that. So verse 4 says, so, let, so Lot went out and spoke to his son's in-law, who had married his daughters, and said, Get up, get out of this place, for the Lord will destroy the city. But to his son's in-law, he seemed to be joking. So this son's in-law that seems to have married his other daughters that were not with him, thought he was joking. They thought it was just a joke, a kind of joke that Saul was making out. You know, I would, I would, I would fire fall, I would the heavens fall and destroy the whole city. No, they don't believe that. They don't believe that. So, they stayed there, they didn't go with him. The daughters, that is Saul's, Lot's daughters, that were married to those men, too, were with those men. They didn't follow Lot. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Lot went out and spoke, verse 15 now. So when the money down, the angels urged Lot to Ori, saying, Arise, take your wife and your two daughters who are here, lest you be consumed in the punishment of the city. Arise, take your wife and your two daughters, or else you'll be what? You'll be consumed with the punishment of the city. So they have to tell us, look, all those your daughters that were with the other men that are not going to follow you, leave them alone. Leave them alone. So only you and your two daughters that are with you and your wife are the ones that we are going to save now. So pack yourself and let us go because destruction is coming upon Sodom. Destruction is coming upon Sodom. Destruction is coming upon Sodom. Departing Sodom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have a friend, a neighbor, a brother, a sister that is in Sodom, tell them to get out because destruction is coming upon them. Destruction is what is coming upon them. It does not matter who you are. It does not matter where you are. It does not matter how big, how great, how mighty you are. If you are in Sodom, you are causing destruction. Destruction is coming upon that land and it's going to consume everyone in, in Sodom. Let us continue. Verse 16. And while he lingered, the man took hold of his hand, his wife's hand, and the hands of two daughters. The Lord being merciful to him, and they brought him out and set him outside the city. So it came to pass when they had brought them outside that he said, Escape for your life, do not look behind you, nor stay anywhere in the plain. Escape to the mountains, lest you be destroyed. Verse 18. The Lord said to them, Please do not, my Lord. He did now your servant as far favor your sight, and you have increased your mercy, which you have shown me by saving my life. But I cannot escape to the mountains, lest some evil overtake me and I die. See now, this city is near enough to flee to, and it is little, a little one. Please let me escape there. Is it not a little one? And my soul shall live. <laughs> and he said to him, See, I have favored you concerning this thing also, in that I will not overthrow the city for which you have spoken. Hallelujah. Even Lot was making a bargain with the angels. Don't send me to the mountains. Why can't you just send me to this particular city, to this particular small village? It was because of you know his assistance to go to that village that that village was safe. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Verse 21. And he said to him, See, I have Find favor in your sight concerning this thing also. In this, I will not overthrow the city for which you have spoken. Ori, escape there, for I cannot do anything until you arrive there. Therefore, the name of the city was called Zua. Hallelujah. The sun had risen upon the earth when Lot enters Zua. Then the Lord rained brimstone and fire and on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. The Lord rained brimstones and fire upon the upon Sodom and Gomorrah. Why Zua was saved? Because Lot's went there lot was taken there so you can see how the righteousness of a man can save a city but the unrighteousness of the unrighteousness of men 
can destroy many cities. The unrighteousness of men can, can destroy many cities. But the righteousness of a man can save the city. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Let us continue. Verse 24 again. Then the Lord rained brimstone and fire on Sodom and Gomorrah from the Lord out of the heavens. So he overthrew those cities, all the plain, all the inhabitants of the cities, and what grew on the ground. But his wife looked back behind him. His wife looked back behind him. His wife looked back behind him and she became a pillar of sorts. You don't have to look back. You already departed Sodom. You already departed Gomorrah. Why do you have to look back? Why do you have to look back? Why do you have to turn back? What do you have in Sodom that, that, that is more precious than your life? What do you have in Sodom that is more precious than your soul? What do you have in Sodom that is more precious than your eternal reward in heaven? What do you have in Sodom that is so, is so much precious to what God is going to give to you? What do you have in Sodom? Whatever you have in Sodom, let be Sodom. Let it be Sodom. All you need to do is to depart Sodom. The person them because the 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 the, the 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 fierce anger of the Lord is coming upon Sodom, and Sodom right now is in every cities of the world. Sodom right now is in every cities of the world because of some people are even perpetrating Sodomic acts online and they are showcasing it to the world. The destruction of God is coming upon them. They should depart Sodom. If you have a friend, a neighbor, a brother, a sister, a daughter in Sodom, tell them to get out now because the destruction of God is coming upon them. Hallelujah. But his wife looked back behind him and he became a pillar of sorts. He became what? A pillar of sorts. I pray for you, you will not look back from where you, the Lord is redeeming out from. You will not look back in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Verse 27. And Abraham went early in the morning to the place where he had stood before the Lord. Then he looked towards Sodom and Gomorrah and toward all the land of the plain. And he saw and beheld the smoke of the land which went up like the smoke of a forest. And it came to pass when God destroyed the cities of the plain that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the, over, of, of, of the overthrow. When he overthrew the cities in which Lot had dwelt, then Lot went up out of Zoar and dwelt in the mountains. And his two daughters were with him, for he was afraid to dwell in Zoar. And he and his two, two daughters dwelt in a cave. Hallelujah. So this is how Lot and his two daughters were delivered from the destruction in Sodom because they departed Sodom. Tell your neighbor, depart from Sodom. Depart from that city of destruction. Depart from Sodom. Let us continue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us continue. Let us continue. Hallelujah. So what is Sodom? Who is Sodom? Where is Sodom? What is happening in Sodom? Like I tell you before, Sodom and Gomorrah, even in the scriptures, they are neighboring cities. But they are full of wardom. They are full of abomination, abominations. They are full of abominable practices. It got to the point that God had to pass judgments on the two cities and they were destroyed. They were consumed by fire and brimstones that rained down from the heavens. So don't think that God is not, God cannot destroy the, the so, so don't worry, God cannot destroy us. It's, God can destroy whoever he wants to destroy. He can destroy the cities. He can destroy the whole, the whole planet. He can destroy it. But because of his mercy, because of his mercy, and that is exactly what we are still enjoying up to this point. Because of his mercy. And that's what we are still enjoying up to this point. So don't say, ah, the Lord cannot destroy. No, he can, he can, he can destroy the cities that goes wrong, that goes wrong against his instructions. And this is exactly what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. Brimstones, fires fell from the heavens and it consumed them all. It consumed them all. It destroyed them all. The babies, the children, the, the goats, the sheep, the things that are growing, the fair maidens, the females, the men, everybody the young ones the older ones the aged ones with sticks going up and down it consumed all of them everything male and female children and and and, and pregnant women and everybody they were all consumed and destroyed because of abominable practices sexual abominable practices abom inordinate infection affection may the lord help us in the name of jesus christ now you can see that these things are also happening in the world right now. These things are also happening in the world right now. And we need to take caution. We need to take caution. <laughs> we need to take caution. Hallelujah. God passed judgment upon those cities and it rained down from the heavens, fires and brimstone and consumed them all. Sodom is a place of abomination. If you are in a place of abomination, it is Sodom. 
if you are in the place of abomination, if your location is a place of abomination where they practice evil, 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 inordinate affection, it is called so that place is called so spiritually, it is called pseudo. So you need to leave that place because danger is coming. It is a place of sin and iniquity. Sodom is a place of sin and iniquities. A place of abominable acts. A place where everything evil exists and prevail. A place where everything evil exists and, and prevail. Is it fornication? Is it adultery? Is it is it wardom? Is it you know, evil practices, witchcraft, sorceries? Is that is Sodom? Children, oh, children's sacrifices, that is Sodom. No, a lot of a lot of a lot of evil practices. If you find yourself in such situations, in such places, you need to live there right now. You need to, you need to get out of there. You need to get out of there. You need to get out of there because the destruction of God has been seen on such places. Destruction of God has been seen on such places. So you need to depart to them. You need to depart to them. You need to depart to them. That is where so you need to depart to them. So that is a place of you know, of everything where evil exists and prevail, a place of abominable, inordinate, inordinate affection practices, a place of sin and iniquities, a place where evil prevails, where darkness strives, it is called Sodom. So we need to leave that place. If you find yourself in Sodom, if you find if your brother is in Sodom, if your sister is in Sodom, if your neighbors are in Sodom, you need to tell them to get out of there because destruction is coming upon Sodom very soon. Destruction is coming upon Sodom very, 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 very soon. So you need to tell them to leave so that they will not be part of the destruction that is going to happen upon them. If you look at our world now, you discover that there are a lot of Sodom, Sodomic activities going on in strange places, in places you don't even expect. Hmm. Every place you are that is full of abomination and the activities in such place doesn't glorify God. Every place that you find yourself and the activities that is that is operating there doesn't glorify God. Such place is called Sodom. You will need to depart from such place before the judgment of God falls on it. If you are a believer, hallelujah, if you are a believer, you will need to leave such place if it's tallies with Sodom, if everything that could, that 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 is apparent to be, if everything that is uh, apparent and, you know, that to be seen there, tallies with, 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 with what Sodom is, then you need to leave that place. You are in your place of work and you discover that there's a Sodomic activities there, you need to leave that place before they infect you. You have your children in some schools and they began to teach them some Sodomic activities, or oh, men or oh, men, you need to take your children out of that place right now. You need to take them out without wasting time. You need to get them out before they before they infect them. Because when 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 destruction comes upon Sodom, it doesn't know, it doesn't want to know whether you are young or old, whether you are whether you are fair or beautiful, whether you are whether you are you are female or male. No, you need to get them out of them. You need to get out your offspring out of every form of Sodomic activities, Sodomic places, places full of Sodomic places. You need to you need to get them out of them. If your neighborhood is full of Sodomic activities, you need to get out of there because the destruction of God is coming upon them. And before they infect you, before they infect you with with with, with their uh, with their unnatural with with their unnatural inf uh, 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 affection, you need to you, you need to get you, you need to get you, you need to get yourself out of there. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter six verse seventeen. Second Corinthians, can you ready to go? Fili Mandosa, you like a most defender, but could you see Talis? Let you son that in Marisha tell you about about the second Corinthians. Let us look at what second Corinthians says then. Second Corinthians of the seas, verse 17. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, therefore, you hear what I say? So, therefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, says the Lord. Therefore, come out from among them. And be ye separate. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. And I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. You shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord. Say, come out from among them. Come out from the cities of Sodom. Come out from the cities of Gomorrah. Come out from the activities of Sodom. Come out from the activities of Gomorrah. 
Come out from inordinate sexual affection. Come out from every abominable act. Come out from every evil so evil ritual practices. Come out from every worldly practices. Come out from every dangerous practices. Come out from every satanic practices. Come out from every sins and iniquities. Come out from every transgressions. And now we receive you. Let me take that place again. Second Corinthians chapter six. Second Corinthians chapter six. Verse 17. I hope I'm not too fast, right? <laughs> Glory to Jesus. Said, therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch what is unclean, and I will receive you. I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. You shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Hallelujah. God is asking you to come out of Sodom. God is asking you to come out of Gomorrah. God is coming, calling you to come out of abominable, inordinate affections. God is calling you to come out from every dangerous, evil practices. God is calling you to come out from every sins and iniquities. God is calling you to come out from every witchcraft practices. God is calling you to come out from every satanic practices. God is calling you to come out from every child ritual practices. God is calling you to come out from every, from every, from every initiation into, 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 into demonic satanic kingdoms. God is calling you to come out from your wizardry. God is calling you to come out from your sorceries. God is calling you to come out from every evil, abominable practices that is oppression, operating in your environment, in your life, in wherever you are. God is asking you to, to come out. And he will accept you and be a father to you, and you will be sons and daughters. I pray this word will touch your heart and heal you and bring it back to God. No matter what you might have done in the past, the Lord is waiting for you. No matter what you have done in the secret places, the Lord is waiting for you. He's waiting for you to come out and say goodbye to the devil. I say goodbye to Sodom. Just like Lot went out, Lot went out of Sodom and Gomorrah and said, Goodbye, Sodom and Gomorrah. I am no longer part of you. I am no longer part of you. Goodbye, Sodom and Gomorrah. And he was able to save his life. He was not consumed or destroyed with other people that found themselves in that situation that they didn't go out. He went out. He said, Goodbye, Sodom and Gomorrah. Goodbye with all your abominations. Goodbye with all your abominable acts. And he came out of Sodom and Gomorrah and he was saved. And he was saved. God is calling you to come out. He's telling you to come out. Come out from every Sodomic activities. Come out from every cities of Sodoms. From every habitations of Sodoms. Whether in your workplaces, whether in your neighborhoods, whether in the schools that you find yourself, God is calling you to come out of it. I pray that you receive grace and mercy. And to come out because the mess of God is reaching out to you now. The mess of God is reaching out to you now to come out. So come out, come out, come out from them and be a separate. Hallelujah. Give yourself to Jesus. The Bible says, you know, even man is in Christ, is a new creation. When you give yourself to Christ, you depart from Sodom. You depart from Sodom. You depart from iniquities. Hallelujah. Depart and become a new creature. Depart and become new persons. Depart and become new being. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Had Kamisha Fidibo Sunda. He bought Safi the Baska Hata. The Baska Hapa the Baska. Anything that's evil that you are involved in and doing is Sodom. <laughs> it's the Sodomic practices. You need to live there. Anyone involved in prostitution, you are involving yourself in prostitution. You're involving yourself in robbery. You're involving yourself in ritualism, in drudgery, in abominable sexual acts then you are in Sodom. You need to come out of it. You need to come out of it. You need to come out of prostitution. You need to get out of prostitution. You need to get out of robberies, of, 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 of hard drugs, hard drugs. So many of you, 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 you're in the company of people that are, that are so embedded, that are so engulfed with taking our substances and our drugs, then in that situation, you are in Sodom. You need to get out of it. You need to get out of it. You need to get out of it. Because destruction is coming upon Sodom. Destruction is what is coming upon Sodom. It's coming upon Sodom. With your practices, doddry, robbers, and robbers where you know, you know, you, you you have you have weapons in which you used to rob and destroy people's lives, then you are you are currently your current location in Sodom. You need to get out of there. You need to get out of there. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need to get out of Sodom and Gomorrah before the judgment of God falls upon you, comes upon you. Because the judgment of God is coming upon Sodom and it's coming, coming upon Gomorrah. Yes, yeah, so we look around and see there's no city in the world that is currently bearing Sodom and Gomorrah. But in the spiritual realm, a lot of cities are called Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> a lot of cities are called what? Sodom and Gomorrah. A lot of locations are called Sodom and Gomorrah because of the activities of Sodom and Gomorrah are operating in there. Let me give you a, a scripture, a scripture. Hallelujah. Let me show you a scripture in the Bible that talks about it. That, you know, that, that, you know, Place, although there, there's no place that is called Sodom and Gomorrah right, right on the head now, but there are places in the spiritual realms they are called Sodom and Gomorrah. Let me show you. Okay, so let's continue. Revelation, Revelation um, 11, Revelation 11, 8, 7 to 8. Revelation 11, 7 to 8. Say when, verse 7, say when they finish their testimony, the beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit will make war against them overcome them and kill them verse 9 verse 8 and their bodies will be lie in the streets of the great city which is spiritually which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt where our, also our Lord was crucified hallelujah it's spiritually called Sodom and Egypt so in the spiritual realm there are a lot of places that are Sodom you need to depart from them you need to what you need to depart from there God is still in the business of saving people God is still in the business of saving people is in the business of saving the righteous from the unrighteous is in the business of saving the just from the sinners he is in the business of saving people from the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and giving them you know another chance to life is in the business of saving people from from, 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 from Egypt from from demonic places the money practices witchcraft and sorceries is in the business of saving people and delivering them from the bondages of darkness from the bondages of Satan so you need to come out from them if you find yourself in Sodom you need to get out of there if you find your brother your sister you need to tell them you need to warn them to get out of Sodom because destruction is coming upon Sodom God is in the business of saving people. He saved Lot and his two daughters. He saved Lot and his two daughters. Though his wife looked back, his wife looked back and she turned to a pillar of salt. You see, you don't have to look back. We are not of those that drop back to perdition, but of those that go forward to the saving of souls. The Lord is already saving you. He's already bringing you out from destruction. And you decided to look back. You decide to look back. Some, some, some people right now they are trying to look back. God is already God has already saved you from the cities of Sodom, and you are already trying to look back. God has saved you from prostitution, and you are still trying try to look back. God has saved you from robberies, and you are still trying to look back. God has saved you from evil practices, from witchcraft, and you are still trying to look back. Don't look back, because if you look back, you are going to turn to a pillar of salt. Don't look back, because if you look back, you are going to end. You are going to, you are going to find yourself in destruction. Don't look back. Don't look back. Never turn back. Hallelujah. Keep going forward. Keep going forward. The Lord has called you to come out of Sodom. Keep going forward. Don't look back. Hallelujah. Lost wife looked back and if she turned to a pillar of such. God does not desire any man to perish, but that all may come to repentance. If you currently find yourself in Sodom, if you currently find yourself in the cities of Sodom, in the cities of Gomorrah, spiritually, <laughs> which they are called, depart from there now. Because judgment will soon reign upon Sodom. Hallelujah. If you find yourself in the cities of Sodom, depart from there. If you find yourself in the corners of Gomorrah, depart from there. Depart from there. Because judgment is coming upon the cities of Sodom. Judgment is coming upon the cities of Gomorrah. And everyone that is fine there, whether a child, whether a pregnant woman, whether a toddler, whether an old man, whether a young man, whether a female, whether a male, whether an unmarried, whether married, <laughs> Wherever, whoever they are, whatever they are, they shall be consumed and destroyed. So depart from Sodom because the destruction of God is coming upon Sodom. I pray for you. I pray for everyone that is watching this broadcast right now. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that even if you find yourself in Sodom, that the Lord will 
remove you out of Sodom in the name of Jesus Christ. You are there. You have been praying to God to remove you from the cities of Sodom. There's something that you have involved in your that you have involved yourself prostitution, and you are trying to pray to God to help you to deliver you. I pray that the Lord will give you grace to remove you out of that sodomic activities in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the Lord will give you the grace, the mercy. He will show you mercy and remove you from that sodomic activities, that abominable practices. He will remove you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That practice of witchcraft, that practice of 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 of, of inordinate affection to your to your to to your, to, your, or to, or to, to, to your fellow mates, I pray that the Lord will redeem you completely from that, from that, from that, from that dangerous path in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you shall not be destroyed. I pray that the grace of God will rest upon you and the message of God will bring you out of Sodom. The message of God will bring you out of Sodom. I pray for you that the message of God will bring your children out of Sodom. The message of God will bring your sons and daughters out of Sodom. The message of God. We bring your brothers and your sisters out of Sodom in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you that the mercy of God we bring your parents out of Sodom and will deliver them from the destruction that has been decreed upon Sodom in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name, O God. Hallelujah to the Lamb. All glory and thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. I pray that the Lord will save and deliver his people that are currently in Sodom. He will bring them out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Just, just, just as he brought Lot and his two daughters that are willing to follow him, he will bring them out in the name of Jesus Christ. You are in that situation. Maybe your parent has been in Sodom and you don't have any option that to stay with them. But I pray that the Lord will bring you out in the name of Jesus Christ. And also pray that the Lord will deliver whoever needs to be delivered in your house, in your family, we never need whoever needs to be delivered. The Lord will deliver them out of Sodom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I pray that the lights of God's salvation will enter into your heart, will enter into your soul, will enter into your spirit and deliver your sons and daughters and deliver those that belong to you, that pertains to you. It will deliver them in the name of Jesus Christ and bring them out of Sodom and deliver them from destruction in the name of Jesus Christ. It is well with you. It is well with your family. It is well with everything that pertains to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a wonderful, you know, clap offering. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for the wonderful message that you have given to us this morning. We are blessed. We are healed in our soul, in our spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I remain your brother, your son, your uncle, in the Lord, upper support tower of Blossom to Watch Ministry. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. If you, if you, if you want to give your life to Jesus and you want me to help you to develop in the things of Christ, please endeavor to send me message, endeavor to send me message on my email address or on my on my phone number. You can contact me on WhatsApp, on chat. We can talk, we can we can talk, we can talk, we can relate and talk together. And if you and the Lord and if also we, we can talk together and we can grow together in the Lord, we can help ourselves to grow, you know, increase and I can, you know, you know, teach you some things in the scripture that will help you to develop that will help you to develop resistance against things that are bothering you against things that the enemy is throwing against you and the Lord will help you in the name we help you and we help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen amen hallelujah and if you have been touched by the Lord to support this ministry oh, no problem you can always get some the the, 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 the the details are on the board on the line there you can get them you can you know, or you can contact me directly if you want to support this ministry, you want to support the work of God in this place, you want to support the ministry building, you know, it is, it is, it's a wonderful thing to do, hallelujah. You can, you can contact me directly and I pray that the Lord will continue to supply you all your needs and to bless you and to enrich you in the mighty name of of Jesus Christ. There's no one that gives to the Lord that doesn't go blessed, <laughs> that doesn't go back blessed. Hallelujah. It says, press that shaker together and run over shall men put into your bosom. Hallelujah. And as you have some, and as you support us, as you support this ministry, the Lord will also keep supporting you and everything that pertains to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It's like, come away again. Do have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed time. I love you, Christ Jesus. Stay blessed. Stay grace. Bye for now.